Hello everyone, in today's video I will be taking you through how to make a beautiful top and skirt. This one is meant for the top. Why this is for the skirt, okay? Well, I'll be working with the top first. So I'm going to keep this aside while I work on this. So I'm going to keep this also. So let's get started. I have uh, two fabrics right here. Can you see? This is the right side. Now I'm going to measure what I have as the width. The width actually depends on who you are working for. I mean the size you're working for. Or this is just a little girl. I have um, 15 inches for the width. Then for the length, I have an uh, 11.5 inches. So right now what I'm going to do is to place, this is the wrong side, I mean the right side. I'm going to place the right side to the right side while I work on the wrong side, okay? So right now, I'm going to mark one inch from the edge here. And this one inch is going to serve as my elastic uh, space or elastic allowance. So I mark one inch. So as you can see, I mark it on both sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and connect this point together. So it's better you use your ruler, okay? So I'm going to connect like I'm doing right now. So as you can see, I've connected. So the next thing is to repeat exactly what I have here on the down the other side also, okay? So it's very easy. So I'm going to also mark one inch, okay, on both sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is to connect these lines together, just like I did uh, in the first place, okay? So I connect using my chalk, connect it together. So as you can see, I'm done connecting. So after this, the next thing I'm going to do right now, this is just a, a guide for me. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the line, the sides, from the upper to, upper to the down part. So I'll be right back. So as you can see right here, I've sewed the two sides. Can you see? I've sewed it. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go ahead and uh, this one inch which I mark for the elastic, I'm going to sew it, leaving that space like this. Can you see? So I'm going to sew round, then I'm going to create a space here through which the elastic is going to pass, okay? So, so I fold it like this. Can you see? So I'm going to use my pin to pin it down. So I proceed. So I'm going to pin it down like that. Okay. I hope you can see what I'm doing right here. Making sure I use the pin to secure uh, the elastic space, okay? The space created, okay? So that is what I'm doing right now. So this is just for better understanding. So I'm going to continue like this. Can you see? Can you see? I won't pin it down like this. Can you see? 
So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to my machine and sew it like that. So, but I'm going to leave a little space through which my elastic is going to uh, pass, okay? So that's the next thing. So right now, I'm done with sewing it round. But like I said, I said I'm going to leave a space, a little hole. Can you see? Here is the hole. So I left it like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to proceed to the next stage. I will still come back to this, but let's go ahead. So right now, from this edge here, I'm going to mark 4 inch on both sides. On both sides so I mark with four inch so I'm going to connect this line together this line I'm marking is is going to serve as a guide for me so that by the time I stitch my elastic to it it's going to give me that perfect straight uh, sewing so that it won't be it won't fall apart. It will fall from the line. So this line I'm marking is a guide for me and it's very, very necessary, okay? So can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it again like this, turn it to the other side like this, okay? I'm going to repeat what I've just done. I mark four inch, okay? Four inch on both sides. So I mark four inch and you see. So I'll go ahead and connect these lines as well. So can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to the down part here. I'm going to stitch the down part here, okay? Remember, I'm working on the wrong side of this fabric. Wrong side. So right now, I'm going to sew the down part fold it twice one then i refold it again like this then i sew it round i won't leave any space i sew it round can you see i'm done with sewing the down part can you see so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to work on this line so here is my elastic which i'm going to sew round to the fabric okay so i'm going to measure the length i have here so it depends on the waist you are working with all you need to do just measure the circumference of the waist so it will determine the length of your elastic that you are going to use so in this case i'm using 20 inches so what i'm going to do right now is to just go and mark the center point of this so I'm going to mark, and I have it right here. This is the center point. So I will also do it to the other side. So I mark the center point, and I have it right here. Okay. This point is also is going to serve as a guide for me. Do you understand? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to fold my elastic into two equal parts like this equal half so here i'm going to mark it at this center because it's going to serve as a guide for me so after marking it the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to refold it again to another half so i'm going to refold it again you remember i folded it once that's why i'm having to so I refold it again. By the time I refold it again, you can see it's four. I have four. So I'm going to mark the mid, the center again. Here, I mark the center both inside and outside like this. So as you can see right here, I have 
one, two, three. So, which means I've divided this elastic into four. One, four equal part one, two, three, four. So, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to open it like this. Making sure I don't sew the other side. So, I'm going to start with one piece, okay? So, I'm going to place it like this. Can you see what I'm doing right here? I place it like this. So I'm going to sew. You can see this is the mark for the first one. So I'm and this is the center mark for the fabric. So I'm going to extend by the time I begin to sew, I'm going to extend the elastic to meet this point here. So like that, this one will meet the edge here. Can you see this one? I'm going to extend it to meet here. So that's why how I'm going to sew it round, okay? So I'll be right back. So as you can see, this is what I have. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to insert my elastic at the upper part. You know, I left a space here. So right now, I have my elastic here, okay, and uh, the length of this elast elastic is, uh, can you see, it's 18 inches. So right now, I'm going to insert the elastic through that space created, okay. So like this, I'm going to pass it. So I'm going to pull it to make sure it rhymes, to make sure it goes equally, okay? So that one part will not be tight while uh, uh, the other part loose. So I'll make sure that it goes round on uh, the neckline, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to place it on each other like this then i'm going to stitch like three times okay just to secure it now as you can see i've stitched it like three times okay so right now i'm going to make sure it goes round very well and then uh, it's equally distributed okay so the next thing i'm going to do that little space i'm going to stitch it up and you see, I've stitched it up. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to mark where my handle is going to be. So on my right hand side, I'm going to mark two inch. So I mark two inch, put back in front. So here also, I'm going to mark two inch. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to work on my hand pieces. So I have it right here. I have two pieces. So I have the width to be 1.5. You could make it 1.25, okay? Then I have the length, the length 9 inches, okay? So I'm going to stitch. So I stitch from one edge to the other. And also do likewise to the second one from one edge to the other. So I stitch it like that. So as you can see right here, I've sewed the two sides. So the next thing is to bring, turn it inside out. The top. I'm going to turn it to the right side, okay? Can 
you see after turning it like that then i'm going to bring this back so i'm going to you can see the center that is the sewing line is going to be inside so right now i'm going to place where i mark can you see i'm going to place it like this so i stitch it then i come like this placing the other one inside so i stitch it so by the time i stitch it everything the center will not be visible outside this is how it's going to be okay and that is what i will also do to the second side so i stitch I'm going to stitch okay so as you can see our top is finally ready and you see you will discover that the center the sewing part is inward you can see it's inward so on both sides can you see so it's ready you can see how beautiful it is so the next thing right now is to go ahead and work on the skirt So for the skirt, I also have two pieces, okay? So two pieces. So I'm going to measure the width of this skirt. So it actually depends on who you are working with. Okay, so I place it like this. So I'm going to measure what I have. I have about 33. I have like 33 inches or so. So I'm going to measure what I have as the length, 10 inches for the length. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and so the first thing i will be marking is just one inch so i mark one inch first after marking one inch so i'm now going to proceed into marking two two inches okay so i'm going to proceed with two two inches So I'm going to remove out of this to give me just one inch. So one, two, three. So I'm going to one inch. The first one is one inch. Okay. So I'm going to proceed into marking with marking two two inches. So I'm going to proceed. So you can see excess so i'm going to reduce this part so right now having done with that the next thing i'm going to do right now is to work on the first piece so this is the first one so i'm going to pleat it to this side to my left hand side like this so i make sure it marks I place it on the map which I make okay so the map is a guide for me and you see so I'm going to leave this one then I proceed into these two so I place it on on the mark I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to work on this. I work on this. You can see that I'm leaving two inch interval. 
So the accumulation of that, those the two inch, inches I'm leaving is going to serve as my waistline. Okay, waist circumference, okay, at the end of the day. So I'm going to kiss this together. I'm using a kissing, I mean, a kissing uh, pleat. We have types of uh, pleating, okay? But this particular one is very, very beautiful and I love it so much, so, so much, okay? So I'm left with just one. So I'm going to place it on this side. So. And you see. So. What I did here is what I'll be repeating here. After that, then I'm going to stitch the edge. Okay. So I place it. Making sure the mark touches each other. Okay. Because like I said, I said that mark is a guide. It's a guide. And it must not be altered. So right now I move to this. I leave this. I place it on each other like this. Can you see? Then I pin it down. So I work on this. Work on this. So I work on this. Okay. Please just make sure you follow what I'm doing right here. When you follow it strictly, you discover that it's something very easy to make, not difficult. And I'm left with one, so I'm going to place it, overlap it to the to my right hand side. Can you see? I'm also done with the second piece. So the next thing is to go ahead and sew the down part, okay? So stitch the down part. Stitch the down part, okay? Like this. 